All right, so we do need to talk about patho pathologic changes. So changes on histology for ischemic strokes because step one loves pathology. And this is very similar to the cardiac um, patholog pathological changes after uh, a heart attack. And we're gonna compare and contrast in a second. But first of all, in the first, in the 12 to 24 hour period, what you're gonna see is you're gonna see some red neurons, okay? And what this means is a loss of nisal substance, remember that rough ER stuff, staining of the rough ER. You're gonna get a little pycnotic noise. So this is a red neuron right here, okay? You get a little pycnotic nuclei. Get an eosinophilic cytoplasm, so red looking cytoplasm. And that is a red neuron, okay? So small little nucleus. And then your reddish cytoplasm. After that, your neutrophils are gonna come, that's day ones to three. So um, neutrophils, all these little blue dots are gonna pop in. And after that, remember coming the macrophages, or especially the microglia and macrophages and microglia are the macrophages of the CNS. You do get some macrophages coming in. So this is days three to seven, okay? And then next after that, it's gonna be what well, the next uh, one to two weeks after the stroke. This is a key word here. This is reactive gliosis. Okay, this is done by the astrocytes, um, and you're also gonna get vascular proliferation around the necrotic area. So, I need to explain what reactive gliosis means. Um, basically, remember the astrocytes are glia; they're supporting cells. Your neurons die. There's going to be a big hole in your brain where the neurons have died. So your astrocytes are going to come in, and they're going to proliferate at the site of injury. Um, so they're going to they're basically compensating for the for the lost volume of the dead neurons. They're going to um, form a closely connected meshwork, and it's called. Um, I honestly think of them as the fibroblasts of the CNS. So microglia act like macrophages. Astrocytes can act like fibroblasts. They have other functions, but here in this specific situation, they're acting like fibroblasts. They're um, filling up that hole where your, your dead neurons were, okay? Uh, and grossly, we're gonna see liquefactive necrosis. So this is a key difference um, in the brain versus the rest of the body. Most of the body, do remember what kind of necrosis you're gonna see? When you see um, coagulated necrosis, remember we see a couple other things like fat necrosis, mainly it's coagulative necrosis, but in the brain it's liquefactive. Because in the CNS, the enzymes, um, the liquefactive enzymes aren't shut down, and then so they, they basically liquefact, liquefy all this dead shit, all this dead stuff, whoops, excuse my language, and then um, so it's like a liquefactive necrosis in the brain, okay? And finally, we see that glial scar in histology on um, greater than two weeks. Remember, that's due to the um, your astrocytes making a closely connected meshwork, and this is called a glial scar. Okay, so um, remember all these. Remember the timeline. Uh, please know the timeline. It's very similar to the cardiac changes, which I'm going to show you right now. So it makes it easier just for you to remember all this. Okay. So it's a quick quiz that we just covered. What happens in uh, in the neurons in ischemic stroke? 12 to 24 hours. Remember what the finding was, that key finding was the red neurons, okay? Um, this loss of nasal substance, pycnotic nuclei, eosinophilic cytoplasm. In cardiac cells, what you're gonna see is coagulative, necro coagulative necrosis. Okay, remember, that's, how, that's what we talked about. Um, liquefactive in brain cells, coagulative in the rest of the body. So that's a, that's a big difference here. Remember next was the neutrophils in days one to three. So this is the same of both. Neutrophils are gonna come. And then what happens after that? Remember days uh, three to seven, again, for both, you're gonna get macrophages. Uh, the only difference here is you also get microglia in the brain. You come in phagocytosis, all your dead stuff, all your debris, um, clean everything up. All right, uh, for the neurons, what, what are we gonna see in days one, weeks one to two? Remember that key word here was reactive gliosis involving astrocytes. And then you also see uh, liquefactive necrosis and vascular proliferation. Um, similarly, um, cardiac cells will see a similar thing, and you're going to see granulation tissue with fibroblast. Okay, you're also going to see vascular proliferation. So it's honestly it's the same thing, except for astrocytes are in the neurons, and then uh, fibroblast in the cardiac cells. And finally, after two weeks, what do you see? Well, on the neurons, you're going to see a glial scar. And then on cardiac cells, you're gonna see a white scar. So again, very similar. So honestly, this here is a big difference here. You're gonna see red neurons, 
first 24 hours for neurons and then coagulative, ne coagulative necrosis in the cardiac cells. Otherwise, it's all very similar, okay? Neutrophils in the first three days, my, um, macrophages after that within the first week, and then weeks one to two, you're going to see that um, scarring, reactive gliosis. Remember, this is a key word here. You're going to see that again and again. Remember, it's the astrocytes coming in to replace the lost volume from your dead neurons, okay? All right, so that's it for our pathology of ischemic strokes.